JD, I just want to say a little bit more about Excel and the uh, IPEX event. Right. Now, you can explain what it is all about, because I think a lot of people don't know, haven't been up to London, and they sure would love to know what it's all about. Well, it's a print show. Mm-hmm. IPEX is a print show. Right. It used to be in Birmingham. It was in Birmingham for a long time. I remember that. You do? Yes. Remember how long ago was that? Well, that's four years ago. Four years, yes. Because you've been up and down to it so many times. Yes. Yes. And um, it's, it's also now got a cross-media show. Mm-hmm. So it's not a large part of the show yet, but it's, it's growing all the time. Mm-hmm. And this, this one was about production. And uh, one of the things was maps, which we may, we may come back to later on. Mm-hmm. Uh, they can create a map very, very personalised and local. Mm-hmm. just from loads and loads of data print, print it out mm-hmm. so you can find your route it's mostly for advertising so if somebody's trying to get you to go to a garden centre go to centre, somewhere I see you push, push a link and they'll, they'll show you your route from wherever you live oh, right. that, that sort of thing like what Google Maps do similar to Google mm. Maps right. but it's based on OpenStreetMap mm-hmm. apparently in the, in the UK the um, data from the audience survey is quite hard to, to, to negotiate mm-hmm. so they started using OpenStreetMap instead and I've, I've had a look at OpenStreetMap and it's, it's quite good mm. uh, they've got Exeter quite well done I think Old Ryden Lane because I, I thought garden centres that there are other garden centres in Exeter near Exeter uh, mm. but I thought of Old Ryden Lane and I think the uh, motor car route, the driving route they may not have been updated. I think <laughs> I think somebody should have a look at that. But they, other than that, which is a detail, so they came here in 1915, do they? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it is it is an open street map, isn't it? Oh right. Um, so it relies on people updating it. Mm-hmm. So if the roads change for some reason, mm-hmm. then it's up to somebody to have a look. But I, I think people in Exeter should try and make sure the open street map is up to date for the Exeter region because uh, it can't do any harm. And um, it also, it turns out that the Ordnance Survey, maybe their, their policy has changed, but they've, they've got quite a lot of open data. I, I heard um, Outriders, I think I can mention this on, on um, Up All Night, uh, BBC Five Live, they have a, a section of out, Outriders, which you can download as well, um, all about maps. And apparently the uh, Ordnance Survey have got quite a lot of data. So they built a 3D model of, uh, of the UK. Gosh. Uh, and I'd like to see that. Well, you can see some photographs they've done, which right. are on Flickr. Right. Well, otherwise, I think it's Minecraft you've got to download. Right. Uh, and then you've got to download about 150 megs of data. Gosh. And then you can create your own perfectly free. <laughs> <That's> uh, a, <laughs> that takes seven days. Yes, go on. <laughs> well, anyway, this is where I got to. I would never mm. have found out any of this if I hadn't been to the, um, the cross media production show. Right. Um, where my information that I got there wasn't quite right. I think the, the ordinance survey might be a bit more open than I gathered in the first place. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I've been able to look on OpenStreetMap and I can see that there is um, a walking way. You can walk uh, all the way to Islington. Uh, it's not easy to follow the River Lee to the Olympic site. You have to go to Limehouse, first of all. Then there's um, a cut which comes back to the River Lee. Otherwise, you've got to go through streets. But it's all on street map. And I think it's a, quite an interesting walk because... There's going to be a cross-media event, I think, in October in, uh, in Islington. So, I'm, I mean, you can find these places, Excel and, and um, Islington, on, on the Tube or the Light Railway or whatever. But I think if you can walk there, it makes more sense to somebody like myself from Exeter. So this is actually, it was held at the Royal Docks. That's what I'm trying to get from oh, you, where so exactly it is. Because oh. London is a vast place. It is. Yeah. Uh, yes, it's the Royal Docks, mm-hmm. which is, um, well, it's very far, it's, it's quite a long way east, really. Um, yes, it and, is. And yeah. that's, why, that's why I'd like to know how to walk there. Because that would what, give from me, here? 
Well, no, from anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, best of all, from the, from the Olympic site, because it seems to me yeah. the River Lee is a bit. It's a. It's not been designed for walking, really. And as I say, in Exeter, you see, we could we could walk from Double Locks to the Quay, or from the Quay to the station. We could do that quite easily, couldn't we? Mm-hmm. Um, it's quite a clear wa- walkway. We could map it quite easily. We could talk about maps or data or communication or advertising or radio or print as we went we could have quite a sensible conversation (laughs) whereas in in London you sort of get onto the light railway which you can find allegedly you can find it it, near the bank or monument but I never have done the the tower gateway seems to be the the most obvious station and then you sort of get on this crowded train and eventually you, you get off it but where it is, I wouldn't like to say, really. Well, I'm looking at a Google map of the docks, because I've never oh. been there myself, so it's right. quite interesting. It's quite vast, isn't it? It is vast. Yes, it's a very vast area. But then again, you see, um, <clears throat> some of us wouldn't want to venture up that way. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't quite, want to go there? No, I I used to live up in, in um, Hertfordshire, on the other end of the River Lee, which you were talking about. Oh, right, yes. The River Lee used to get the bottom of my, my road. Yes, um, and I used to go to London for, uh, with school and everything else like that, but uh, I, I come back so exhausted, you know, it's nice to get home again. <laughs> it's too exhausting, you know, even to drive through is, you know, I wouldn't want to do that too, too often. And uh, so so I don't have much interest in London for some funny reason. I, oh. I, even ex- even Exeter's a challenge. But, 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 J.D., supposing they spent... A bit more money on London. I mean, obviously there are problems. A bit more. A bit more. Well, <laughs> I mean, obviously the UK is very, very keen on London. So what were you spending we, on, we, though? Well, a cross rail. Let's say you were there in um, Tottenham Court Road, mm-hmm. and you could go underground, mm-hmm. and 20 minutes later you could pop up at Excel. Well, so I, you wouldn't know where you were. The, the, if it, they had, you see, if they had a helicopter... Yes. which you could come pick me up from anywhere and take me somewhere, then I'd probably enjoy London, then. You might do. I might do. <laughs> but I think it's too much... Um, uh, everything... I don't know, it's just a vast place, you know. Um, I've, I've had relatives who live in London and they're trying to drive through London to them. It's just... That was the hardest bit of the journey, not <laughs> driving on the M5, <laughs> or, uh, sorry, the M1. <laughs> so, really, we're, what we're saying is that we like, we like the World Wide Web. Mm-hmm. You're very pleased with your huddle. Yep. But having seen where it is and how we might get there, Mm -hmm. we'd be just as happy with um, a website. Well, I think, you know, because this technology is so vast now, it's getting quicker and quicker. Everything I find now in the last uh, 15 years, it's gone one big step. You know, you can do absolutely anything on it from, from anywhere, wherever there's a, you know, Wi-Fi point or whatever. So why not bring these things to the web much more and uh, incorporate them as part of the whatever you're going to so you don't have to go and s- sit there or go walk around something which you do- when you arrive there you have very little amount of time anyway you've got to spend a few days there to actually appreciate yes, the whole yes. the whole thing yes so you're spending a lot of money you see so why do you not spend it on a website or web thing which people can actually you know can actually experience it in australia Yes. Well, obviously, for people in Australia, <laughs> I mean, very few people from Australia came came to uh, to London for for this show, especially. Yes. Well, but the ones who did did spend a few days, I would think. Yes. Well, they would would have to, wouldn't they? So yes. So I, I think you know to actually branches out out a bit more. And so, uh, do you think a, a small place like Exeter? I mean, I say small basically because you can walk across it, the yes. central bit, in yes. about half an hour, let's say. You could um, just have sort of seminar rooms or discussion points, well, you, you a bit have, of information, well, and have, maybe it would work just as well. Well, you could have um, you could have a lot of things happening. Well, you do have a lot of things happening here in Exeter, and I could enjoy them down to where I live by using the uh, my huddle. <laughs> you go my huddle. Uh, so you wouldn't have to come into Exeter either. No, no. But that, that's that's the thing is, it, it, I know you come here and spend money. And that's what they want you to do, and that's what they like you to do. But you could you could spend money on the web quite easily. You couldn't buy a sandwich, could you? 
Oh, yes, you can. You can? Yes. Well, my, machine, my machine does everything. <laughs> and, and, and the sandwich could be delivered? And would that help the sandwich bars of Exeter? Um, probably not, no. Oh. A long way from them to come. <laughs> <laughs> well... No, no, what, no I'm, I what I'm saying is that you, you, either, you either limit it to only the people who are going to come in the front door, mm. or you, do you want to branch out and spread what you are or what you're doing amongst other people around the world or around the country? Well, I think it's all got to be mixed. Mm -hmm. We've got the idea of being flipped. They're talking about the flipped classroom. Flipped classroom? The Gosh. flipped classroom. That's before my term. <laughs> no, it's after your time. <laughs> it's before it as well. <laughs> well, it's, it's an idea mm -hmm. that whereby um, your homework is watching videos of the content, mm -hmm. and when you get to the class, you have discussion, investigation, such as you might have done outside of the classroom. Well, that's what I'm talking about, you see, is that you, if you can find the information about your course in your own time... That's why I, that's that's why I like to. If somebody gets says, you know, how does this computer work? I say, well, give me six months and I'll work <laughs> it out myself. And I like working it out. So if you if you're trying to find something, I will pref like to pref find it out myself because that's a part of the the learning process. Yeah, but suppose you do get stuck once in a while going to some sort of trade event where somebody actually knew all about it and could point you in the right direction but you've got to find that person you've got you? to find that person That's right. and you've got to but know you, where you're going but you've got to assume if well hewlett packard weren't there but let's assume mm -hmm. in in the fullness of time in their own good sense mm -hmm. they come up with let's say a 3d printer mm -hmm. sometime next year mm -hmm. whenever they deem it mm -hmm. to have reached the maturity of product they're likely mm -hmm. to support mm -hmm. um would you assume that if you went all the way to a, uh, the 3D trade show, let's say there's another event in Exeter, mm. uh, and you went to the HP stand, mm. they would know what you were doing wrong, assuming you had got stuck? I mean, I'm not saying that you wouldn't find out how it worked. Well, it but depends on how you got stuck. Well, th yes, that's true. <laughs> if, you're, if you've got stuck of how to assemble it or how to use it, mm. well, you can get all that on, on websites galore. So there's oh. so there's probably no there's reason no to go to it. No, no need no. for it. But the, well, it is but true. The, it is true, JD. They yeah. weren't there. There was yeah. no sign of Hewlett Packard. Right. So maybe they agree with you. Yeah. Well, I, well maybe I think, maybe there is no reason to be there. Yes, that's why. Why the companies are spending so much money on that when they can actually get a bigger audience mm. somewhere else? You know. Well, through the web. Well. Um, I've, I've been arguing, I think we've been talking for quite a long time, and I've, I've been trying to make a case for the trade show, for mm -hmm. the printing industry, for packaging in real time. Packaging? Packaging. Because, you see, JT, <laughs> you've managed to create, using a little app on your huddle, yes. a, pic a picture representation mm -hmm. of um, a coffee cup yep. and a T-shirt, yes. both of which have microphones, which may or may not work. <laughs> but but our they are prototypes of um, a possible application for printed electronics and design and the extension of radio. But then again, you see, I found that all out, you see. You found that You've, out? I found out what, what apps I can put download yes. and how they're used. Yes. So I've done it for myself, not somebody sitting in a trade stand. I've gone with my, my machine and says, how do you get that? I've worked it out myself. So if we, if we uh, rely on people to tell us how to do it, yes. then we lose that inhibition to, to actually desire to actually find out ourselves. So I, I can see what you're, what you're getting at, but I still think there's some sort of mix that would be, would be valid. I, I can't imagine... The only good thing about trade thing is the interaction between people. Yes. That's the only, th only good thing about it. But you can do that in a coffee shop. <laughs> you can <laughs> and that could be just around the corner from where you are you don't have to go all the way to London to find out something which you probably already knew so really you're arguing against um, big stands with equipment no I'm, I'm, I'm the, the, the need to actually go somewhere mm. to get your information mm. Some, you know, I know people get the kick out of going to these places and I do know that because my brother had a stand in Ells Court, 
um, a few years ago, and I went to help to dismantle it. And it's that sort of, uh, you know, sort of... I don't know, some people like the shows. They do. You know, and um, I think I've just grown out of them. Oh. I think, in, in the way. So I prefer to actually find the information myself than actually be says, look, the information so will be at so stand. So is this a, a sort of Devon point of view, or is it just an advanced a Devon where, point of view? Well, there must be people mm. all over the country, all over mm. the UK, who have, you know, have been to Earl's Court at some point in their lives and have decided now they'd rather be in uh, Totnes or somewhere. Well, I've, been, I've, I've been to them not out of choice, oh. out of my job. Oh. I had to go and pick up somebody. So, so, um, but but it's, I think it stems from when I was at school, and we used to, when we used to go out, it was uh, quite a, an, an adventure for us to go out. But now it's the novelty's worn off. I think. Well, I'm still going to say that some sort of real life event might be valid, and somewhere like Islington, maybe we'll meet in a cafe. Well, if you give, but if, but you, if there's some sort of excuse, as there will be in October, to be there, um, some I say excuse. There will be there will be some sort of demos and stuff in the in the exhibition, and talk about cross media, which obviously is going to include radio and um, video, we think. JD, think on. I think we've been we've been nattering now for, for far too long. <laughs> our, le- our listeners well, will have gone. Que- you did ask the question. I did ask the question, and I am answering truthfully. Yes. Well, I'm not <laughs> going to edit this. I will put this on YouTube, and um, the people who organise exhibitions mm. and the people who try and explain how to get to Excel. I'm not knocking them as a whole. I'm just saying that for me, mm. I wouldn't want to go to an exhibition. Because of it, because of the time span, and the amount of money you spend for it to find out the answer, which you can get on the web for free, sometimes, 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 not all the time. Okay. Well, look, I should mention this is Phonic FM one hundred six point eight phonic dot fm, and um, a while ago we played uh, broke. Uh, we played. Um, what was the what's the sorry I've, I've oh, see I've lost track JD I've lost track we played Broken Bells mm-hmm. after the disco and um, now I'm going to play Joss Stone covering an earlier Broken Bells song called The High Road. 